TitleMatchNetwork.com. In this matchup. But there's a lot of, of moving parts, and you know, people could work together and screw each other over. And I mean, again, Kylan King doesn't even have to be the one to be pinned to lose for championships. And like you said, there's a lot of heavy elements here because Kylan King, again, the champ champ, she's closing in on 500 days as the Capital Championship Wrestling Champion. As of this, as of now, she's at 497 days. She's got three to go, but she's got three competitors in front of her that are hungry for that gold, Alyssa. We just heard Kylan King acknowledge online how highly she thinks of the competitors that she's in this matchup with. It's going to be Steph Dillon and Mia Yamashita starting it out. Oh, and already unleashing the strikes as the pink striker. <laughs> Quick tag from Steph Delander, who wants none of that, but Kelly Kelly, such a penchant for violence, a very enthusiastic appetite, is simply glowing at the opportunity. This one's going to be an enticing matchup right now, starting off formally, I guess. Killer Kelly and Mio Yamashita going right at it with the headlock. Quick takeover from Killer Kelly. But Mio Yamashita, incredible reversal of fortune. Now face to face with one another, tangled up on the mat. Killer Kelly with an advantage now, dragging Mio back to her feet. Winding her way out with now wrist control of Killer Kelly. Kelly using her movement to wrench herself free, rolling out of the way of Mio Yamashita. Circling up one another. Back into the power and elbow tie up. What? 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 Nice lock from Mio and now Kelly down to the mat. Incredible technical abilities from Yamashita, but also a hellacious striker as bears her name, the pink striker. Competitors back to their feet, Killer Kelly now winding her way out of the hole with wrist control. The knee colliding with the jaw of Yamashita. Killer Kelly with the cravat on, driving those knees into the prone Yamashita. Reaning down to the mat, and Killer Kelly looking thrilled with her work. Big boot to the face of Miu, who's seeing stars. Now showing that power, Killer Kelly taking Miu off her feet. Reversal from Yamashita, tripped up by Killer Kelly, who tees off with the penalty kick. Now scrambles into the cover. Only a two count. And that's the thing that has to be so frustrating is that Kylan King stepped to Lander looking on because tags must be made. All Kylan and Steph can do right now is just hope that one of them goes to their corner within arm's reach so they can tag themselves in and try and get their chance at the gold, or in Kylan's case, retaining her gold. Cover from Mew. Not quite, but just unleashing a flurry on the spine. Oh, oh, heavens! Deafening kick to the spine of Killer Kelly. But now, actually backing Killer Kelly into that corner. Oh, rebounding off the ropes and a tag made by Kylan King. Like you said, Killer Kelly right within arm's reach. Mew with a little parting gift to Killer Kelly as she exits the ring. And this match is so, so unique and so interesting. We have four of the world-class travelers right now, but again, all it takes is one pinfall to somebody to win or to lose this match. Speaking of which, stacking the shoulders up with Miu, the champ champ looking to retain as Pink Striker dodges out of the way of high kick. Off of the ropes goes Miu. Taking down with a hip toss and picked up, slammed down. The champ champ said that there is no erasing the history that has been made by her here at Capital Championship Wrestling. Now, Miyu Yamashita trying to rewrite history with her name on it. Dumped over the top rope by Kylan, caught forearm strike. Now, on that middle rope. Oh! 
delivering that knee strike, using the ropes to some advantage. Yeah, it's not often we see Kylan go kind of up top using the, the ropes to her advantage. And, oh, tag made. You're going to count that a legal tag from Steph Lander, now the legal competitor. Oh, into a back elbow from Kylan King, now dumped over the top with a lariat from Steph Lander. Show that power. Oh, hang on. And, and like you said, these competitors can work together to screw each other over or to help one another out. Just, we're seeing everybody go after Steph DeLander right now. I mean, at the end of the day, there can only be one person that walks out of here with both championships, the CCWN Network champion, as we have just a melee out on ringside. Oh, Killer Kelly teeing off on Kylan King, the current reigning CCWN Network champion. Killer Kelly looking once more to unleash, but caught by Kylan King. Miu Yamash and Steph Dillon are still the legal, legal competitors. Keep note of that. Now dumped back first onto the apron. Kylan King and Miu oh. bounding off of the apron. Are you kidding? Usually we see Miu use this off of the uh, the ropes with a little more bounce, but just able to bounce off of the oh, Hang on now. Miu. This is a precarious oh. position. Face first, courtesy of Steph DeLander. And now STL with the cover. Not enough. Steph DeLander, who's just, I mean, in her words, the most talked about woman in pro wrestling today, looking to keep those the buzz all about her if she can walk out of here with both the CCW and Network champ. Hold on, cover. Not enough to keep Miu down. Steph with the power advantage, but Miu not backing down from the fight. Steph Delander now bringing Miyu Yamashita back to her feet. Showing off that power of the Python powerhouse. Oh, tripped up though. Now onto that middle rope and Miyu bounding off. Oh jeez. To the back of the and the back of the skull. Now Miu trying to constrict around the midsection of DeLander. Oh gosh, right to the jaw. Shoulders are down, but broken up by Killer Kelly and Kylan King. And again, all four of these competitors hungry for that CCW Network and CCW Championship. They realize how high the stakes are as everybody's going at it right now in the center of the ring. Miu, Killer Kelly, Kylan King. Now, then there were two, Kylan King, Killer Kelly, and Killer Kelly absolutely unleashing a flurry to Kylan. Could be looking for that Valdemar. Not enough. Well scouted by Kylan. Oh, jeez. Impressive strength and the impact felt. Miu, King. Whips reverse. Miu now again that rebound out of the corner. Again, the Mi Miu and Delander are the legal competitors here. Now Delander staying right hard at work on Miu Yamashita. Planting her on that top turnbuckle. Impressive strength. Oh, and a kick right to the dome. Delander now taking her focus off of Miyu Yamashita allowing Kylan King now to come in and wreak some havoc. Miyu and Kylan now up on those turnbuckles. A very precarious place to be. I don't like, I don't like the look of this. Repositioning Kylan. What, what do these competitors have in mind? Oh, hang on. Kylan hung up. But wait, Killer Kelly. Almost over top of, of Kylan. Took a look for Superflex. Oh. Wait a second. No way! Kylan King dumping Miu and Killer Kelly. I don't even know the physics of that, but three of the four competitors laid out. Steph Delander now looking for her opportunity. The cup. No, that's. 
Kylene is not legal. It's Neo Yamashita. Wait, yeah, Paul Turner saying, no, that's all. No, Steph Delano, that is also not the legal competitor. Third time is the charm, but a precious second's been wasted. Oh, Steph Delander. Never one to follow rules, but in this situation, it did not behoove her. Gave Miu Yamashita some, uh, some critical recovery time. At the end of the day, Steph Delander, though, just looking to fight here. Kylan King, I believe, just tagged herself in. I don't think Steph is aware of it. Neo Yamashita on the shoulders of the Python powerhouse, the diving drop kick. And now the cover from Kylan King to retain her championship. No, Steph Delander kicks out. And you can Kylan, see. She's got to be feeling desperate at this point. Again, so much is on the line right now. And she is not, not one, not two, but three competitors before her. Dodges the kick. Oh, hang on. Oh. But wait, Killer Kelly right there to break things up. Now dishing back and forth, Killer Kelly. No way. Kylan King now. Suplex by Miyu Yamashita. Sights are set, looking for that skull kick. Oh, but a kick delivered from Kylan. Now could be looking for King's landing. No, wait a second. Miyu Yamashita has her rolled up. Back and, back and forth once more. Miyu. Oh, King kicks out. I think that's the closest we've ever seen Kylan King. Oh, there's that skull oh. kick. No way. Miyu Yamashita with the cover. And the new champ. What a moment here at Dead Zone, Ella J. Miu Yamashita, our new CCW and CCW Network champion. What a run for Kylan King, though. Just shy of 500 days as CCW champion. Nothing to, nothing to frown upon for Kylan King. She should be so proud of herself as now it looks like she's going to hand off the titles to our new champion. You, Yamashita. You, you can see on Kylan King's face for the majesty of King just how much these championships have meant to her over her career. What she's been able to do, the history that she has made here at Capitol, and the respect now being shown to our new champ champ. Kylan acknowledged it. She knew ahead of this matchup that the odds were stacked against her. There were three incredible international talents that she was sharing the ring with. And, and she knew that she thrives in situations like that, but she also acknowledged that she might not be leaving here with those championships, but there is no undoing the history that Kylan King has made. What is this? Look at this. This is almost parallel to last month we saw Christina Marie confront Kylan King in the final moments of our Battle of the Throne event. I mean, at that time, Christina Marie was, you know, making it well known that she had won the, the capital battle and she said that uh, the clock was ticking. It seemed like there was almost a, a target on Kylan. But... Congratulations, man. It's phenomenal, Max. You're Absolutely phenomenal. Right, guys?
I was given an opportunity to challenge anyone who is carrying that title. fighting champion just won the titles minutes ago and willing to put them on the line after the hellacious four-quarter survival match she just went through. Miu Yamashita, Christina Marie for both the CCW and Network Championship. It is on. I don't have a good feeling about this, Alyssa. I mean, there's no denying. Christina Marie, the elite power lifter, super intense competitor, but Miu Yamashita, world travel and hellacious striker. Doubles over Christina Marie, and now a kick sends Marie back to the corner. Ooh, that lower body of Yamashita working overtime. Yeah, we, we just said me and Yamashita just went through a brutal battle in a four-corner survival match. Cover from the champ. But it looks like she's still got some juice left in the tank here tonight, bringing it to Christina Marie. Oh! Taking on all challenges in her newly minted reign here at CCW is Miu Yamashita. And now the rear waist lock suplex overhead. Miu firing on all cylinders, gas in the tank, ready to go. And sight set. Whoa, 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 looking for that skull kick almost collided with referee Paul Turner. I think she just wait, wait. something in her pocket. Look at that, the, those are the, the brass knuckles. No way, Christina Marie just clocked our new champ with the brass knuckles, the cover. No way. Are you kidding me? Christina Marie did warn us, tick tock. TikTok, and maybe it wasn't about a specific target, but maybe it was the countdown to her time at CCW, Alyssa. TitleMatchNetwork.com TitleMatchNetwork.com The Queen of Hasbro's
TitleMatchNetwork.com Title Match Network, the place for the best in women's wrestling. Exclusive pay-per-views with the top talent from around the world. Featuring Mission Pro Wrestling. <laughs> Capital Championship Wrestling. <laughs> Ladies Night Out. <laughs> and many, many more. Thousands of live events, all styles, available 24-7 on demand. Title Match Network. TitleMatchNetwork.com And this is another first time ever matchup. Kenzie's opponent just debuted for Ladies Night Out in our earlier event. Ashley Dembois challenged Camille for the NWA 
Women's World Championship. But speaking of the NWA, Kenzie Page and Ashley Demboise, no stranger to NWA, now going one-on-one -on -one here for the very first time. And you know, it's fine. It's fine that they're friends. It's fine that they're tag partners, but this is not a tag team match. It is just a singles match. to the lockup, and Demboas takes down Kenzie Page. Ashley with the headlock takedown, Kenzie struggling. Oh, and a quick roll up, but Demboas holding on to that headlock. Now dragging Kenzie back up to her feet as Paige struggles to free herself from this headlock. Oh, and a big tackle by Dembois. Dembois back in control again. Oh, but Kenzie holds on and heads to the outside. strategy session on the outside. Oh, and tossing Kenzie Page back inside. Ashley Dembois looking to continue the singles matchup gets out of the way of Kenzie's elbow drop. This is not working out for Pretty and Howard. Kenzie in big trouble. Dembois goes up and over. And a big takedown straight into a pinfall. No wasted movement, but not enough to keep down Andy Bates, especially when Ella Envy is on the apron. Oh, and then neck of Ashley Dembois snapped against the rope. Kenzie Page immediately capitalizing with a shoulder breaker. Now that Kenzie Page is in control, she's unleashing some brutality, really focused on the arm of Ashley Dembois. Get her, Kenzie! Page has Ashley's arm trapped and wrenching on that shoulder, singularly focused. Oh no, back to the arm. Manipulating the wrist, the shoulder, even the elbow. And a kick to the face as Dembois is just trapped by this injured arm. Dembois able to free herself with a punch. Kenzie is rocked. Another punch. But look at you, you can see how injured Ashley's arm is. Able to take down Kenzie, but she keeps going back to that injured shoulder. Up on the shoulders, Kenzie Page is trapped, but wait, able to free herself. And fires back with a kick. And a huge club to the back. Oh wait, Ashley out of the way. Roundhouse kick over the top rope, springing back into the ring and following up with a flipping neck breaker, Demboise for the win. Still not enough. And once again, Ashley Demboise, her arm, that injured left arm. There is one person chanting for Kenzie. It is Ella Envy. Whoa. Kenzie Page, very impressive, able to free herself again, goes back to the arm. That was a neck breaker with the arm trapped. Kenzie Page. 
brilliant strategy on the part of Paige, not just nailing that neckbreaker, but by using the arm, inflicting further damage on the shoulder. Again, Dubois fights out. Yuranagi into a cover, and Ella Envy. Ella Envy is up on the apron. I don't think Kenzie was kicking out of that at all. She is still down. Ella Envy continuing to argue with the official. Oh, again, the miss to the face. We've seen this before. Kenzie Page, small package, roll up. Kenzie Page with the win, but give the assist to Ella Envy. TitleMatchNetwork.com demanding a little bit more respect here from the challenger Priscilla Kelly. Perhaps Well, I have a feeling that uh, this official ra radio I believe is his name. He's going to call this thing right down the middle. Are you making us <laughs> Despite the protest from one Heather Monroe. And it's interesting that she would protest. Let's uh, let's catalog back a few months and uh, hop in the DeLorean, if you will, and head back to about five months ago when she captured the Hurricane Pro Women's Championship courtesy of Joey Ryan who gave her that opportunity against Miranda Alizé directly after Miranda had to defend that title in an intergender match. A match in which Miranda turned a sucker into a Tootsie Roll. Anything can happen here at Queens of the Ring. And that moment became one of the most viral in pro wrestling history. Priscilla Kelly's action was cut just a bit short at the inaugural Queens of the Ring due to a knee injury. And we'll see if that plays a part in this match in any way here tonight. Heather Monroe has an opportunity here to prove that her title win was not a fluke. early into a headlock here. The Monroe's meteoric rise to stardom in pro wrestling has been something to behold, especially in the last 12 months. 
you name a promotion around the country, and there's a very good chance that she has been featured on the marquee. Recently appearing at Ladies' Night Out as well. Oh, and Heather. I know the Summer Olympics are right around the corner. There was some gymnastics work from her. A perfect 10 on the landing and then slaps the taste out of the challenger's mouth. Do you give up? blame radio for not getting in the middle of this. I know Heather Monroe is concerned that, uh, that the official might be biased in this matchup, but uh, I think he's doing what any man would do in this situation. I just get the hell out of here, you know? As the, what we thought was going to be a physical contest for the Hurricane Pro Women's Championship has turned into a war of wards between Priscilla Kelly and Heather Monroe. And now they're asking radio to show his guns. Well, this is not exactly Hogan and Andre, but uh, nevertheless, we're going to have a test of strength. No, don't do it. No, don't do it. Do it. Oh! And I believe that's what's called a receipt. As Priscilla Kelly responds with a slap across the face of the Hurricane Pro Women's Champion. Roll up from behind. Heather Monroe slips out. Now an arm drag on the champion and Priscilla Kelly attempts to assert her dominance here in the main event. Forearm into the corner, follows it up with a second. Champion looks like she may be on Dream Street right here as Priscilla Kelly with the trifecta. That shot downstairs might have been enough, but Heather Monroe wisely, one could say, slides to the outside and uh, calls a 30-second timeout here. Priscilla Kelly charging up for what looked like a dive to the outside. Oh, and Heather takes a shot to the shoulder and arm, courtesy of Hell's favorite Harlot. Champion now being put on the rack. As Priscilla Kelly used that metal post to rearrange the spine of the champion. Priscilla Kelly here. Priscilla Kelly inviting a member of the crowd to hold the champion. Well, that is a bonus feature that I don't believe they thought was going to occur when they had their ticket scanned here tonight. Heather Monroe face first on the hardest part of the ring. 
championship change hands here. It won't. Two and a half. like that knee that we discussed earlier in the matchup may be playing a role in this match as well. Priscilla Kelly becoming the unluckiest competitor here at Queens of the Ring. And Heather Monroe not going to give her any time to call a timeout. But radio may need to stop this match. Kelly may have been playing possum. Oh, that knee looks like it's still bothering her. Kevin Monroe goes downstairs again. Shotgun drop kick to the temple. Kevin Monroe smells blood in the water, folks. Goes to work once again on that right knee. Pin attempt. Rolls up with the right knee on that pin attempt. Whatever she could do, Heather Monroe spots a window of opportunity to take advantage of this matchup and retain her championship. And Hell's favorite, Harlot, is on one leg now in this championship matchup. Slips out again. That was close. And once we cease the action here tonight live on YouTube, we invite all of the fans at home watching us live to check out titlematchnetwork.com for one of the largest libraries. Excuse me, pin attempt here. Yeah. Check out one of the largest collections of independent professional wrestling content anywhere on the web. It's titlematchnetwork.com. Got to get those plugs in there, folks, but a lot of action in the ring. We're going to call it as it happens. Challenger standing on one good leg, trying to trade with the champion, but Heather Monroe knows all she has to do is continue to go downstairs on that right knee and get an advantage. On the Gypsy fighting back now. As that adrenaline sets in, it may be just enough for one final second win for the champion who powers down Heather Monroe. Hell's favorite Harlot. Bicycle kick, lands on the chin. Is it enough to capture the Hurricane Pro Women's Championship too? And 99%. Less than a split second. And Heather Monroe would have conceded that Hurricane Pro Women's Championship. Priscilla Kelly. Oh, she is in a bad way here. Modified coup de grace on the back. Heather Monroe, one, two to retain. She can't. Not yet. As Priscilla Kelly digs down once again, showing tremendous heart, despite having to wrestle this main event on one good leg. Session of kicks here, and now a backstabber, which will rearrange the spinal cord for sure. But will it be enough to retain the championship? Another near fall, but the match rolls on. Yeah. 
And the girl on one good leg is gonna try and take one good arm to potentially even the odds here. But it turns into a pin attempt. It's the only way right now Heather Monroe can brace out of this. And now a single leg crab. That right knee of Priscilla Kelly's has faced tremendous damage throughout this matchup. And now that single leg crab putting maximum pressure on the cartilage and the ligaments on that right knee, which has been damaged. Priscilla Kelly reaches out and grabs that bottom rope. Shot to the head and then drops her. One, two to retain. Heather Monroe gets the W. And still, Hurricane Pro Women's Champion, Heather Monroe. Heather Monroe successful in her first defense of the Hurricane Pro Women's Championship at Queens of the Ring. Well, here's the thing about Misty. What? She, she is completely, let, let me put it this way. Misty Marks is completely capable of winning without dirty tactics. Okay. 100% of the time, Misty Marks is an entirely capable performer. She As steps are between, any of these women. She steps between the ring, with the ropes of the ring. She can do whatever she wants to do. And it doesn't have to involve dirty tactics. The thing is, Misty has that switch flipped in her brain where she realizes that a victory is worth more than her conscience. And she is so, so new to this game. She is very, very early into her career. She's still discovering who she wants to be. And she knows the importance of racking up wins early to establish your legacy early on. As any professional wrestler should, right? Right. I'm not arguing that. And if, and if Isaac, perhaps the best referee on the independent circuit, doesn't mm. catch you, doing what you shouldn't be doing, then you know what? My hat's off to you, because Isaac is no scrub as a referee. There you see him checking. Jasmine's got Misty on the mat, applying pressure, as Jasmine is wont to do. But to go back to what you were saying, Emily, I also like Jasmine Allure, too. I just see my little bits of things that I like in each professional athlete here at VWR. Oh, absolutely. Every athlete we have here is just so impressive as we see some quick covers. Just ex just exchanging pins. And it may, be, may not be enough to put the other opponent away, but I'll tell you what it does. It keeps your opponent on their toes. When is my opponent gonna go for a cover? You don't know, so you always have to think on your feet. And a thing like that, how Misty Marsh just kicked Jasmine Allure in the stomach. You stay ready so you don't have to get ready. And Jasmine floating over with those hip tosses. But Misty had that scouted. And Jasmine counters with an elbow to the face. Jasmine going off that top rope. Oh, that was impressive. Into a cover. One, two. Kick out for Misty. What a reversal. Oh, oh, Misty met her there. My goodness. Misty knew exactly what she wanted to do. Into a cover, one, two, two count. Both of these women so, so good. And Misty just laying it in. the aggressiveness of Missy Marks. And that's a virtue once you step between those ropes. 
Aggression wins matches. You know, we've got the NBA Finals, or the, the Conference Finals going on tomorrow night, and they say defense wins championships, but I'll tell you what, inside a wrestling ring, it's not defense that gets you to the winner's circle. It is Look at that. Look aggression. at that. Look at that. And Misty showing Look at that. Off. Oh. Uh. Into a cover one, two. Jacob, I just wanna, I just wanna say I'm proud of you that you didn't do the, the growling, ruthless aggression. I fully expected it. it to come out of your mouth. Do I, it. You know what? I don't want to get a cease and desist from lawyers in Connecticut, so I'm gonna keep that one on the back burner. Oh man. All right. Oh, with the hair. But as you said, with that aggression, one step ahead, one step ahead. When you're in there with someone undefeated, like a Jasmine Allure, you got to be aggressive. What was it that Roddy Piper would say? Roddy Piper, said, Roddy Piper said a lot of things. Here, I got you. A lot of them inappropriate. He said, when you think you got the answers, I change the questions. There you go. I feel like that applies to Misty as she goes for a cover. It does. Jasmine, quick kick out there. Again, that aggressiveness on Misty Marks. You can see it in her eyes. There you go. You know, this match has been all Misty Marks. Jasmine not being able to get much offense in here because Misty is not allowing it. Just foot on the pedal, all gas, no break. That is right. This slow, methodical pace definitely favors Misty. Yeah, Misty's going to stay on it. Going to continue making sure that Jasmine can't get in that offense. Uh -oh. But, you know, Jasmine has been hanging on. She's been hanging on. Well, Jasmine is like every Vixen on the roster. Ooh. Ooh. So full of heart. So unable to back down from a challenge. And that's no different from what we're seeing in this match right now. She may not be coming out on top at the moment as Misty's got her draped. Draping her and you and falling through into that DDT. Shades of Randy Orton goes for the cover. One, two, and a kick out. As I said earlier, Misty Marks, very early in her career. I don't even think the number of matches she has participated in has cracked triple digits. And yet you see how well aware of what she needs to do in that ring she really is. But what she can't allow herself to become right now is flustered or frustrated. As she gets into a full mount and just lays it in. Off the ropes. Oh. Wait for that leg drop. Jasmine Allure. What a miss. Oh my goodness. Rolling out of the way, nobody home. And there's the fire we're used to seeing from Jasmine. And that was just the opening Jasmine needed. You give Jasmine an inch, she will take a mile. As the fans chant top tier, and now Jasmine laying in those clotheslines. She's fired up. She's taken a lot of abuse in this match, but she sees her opportunity. Misty has her up and over. Jasmine through the ropes. Ooh, bulldog. Into the cover. Not enough to get a three count. Misty Marks has been on top most of this contest. Jasmine needs to get herself back into it. Jasmine trying to uphold that undefeated streak. Oh, right in the throat. And there's Oof. that aggression. Oh, fan just planted face first. Into a cover, one, two. And a kick out. Misty slow getting over to that cover. If she'd ma been maybe just a little bit quicker, that might have been that three count. May have been a three count, but it definitely wasn't. And Misty's not happy about it. 
Careful not to get frustrated. That will get the better of you. So much of what goes on in that ring is not just physical, but mental as well. I don't think this is a good tactic, though. That's how we do this. Misty has her. Oh, wow. Beautiful reversal by Jasmine. Jasmine out of nowhere with the three count. Introducing first from Hackettstown, New Jersey. She is the reigning Impact Wrestling Knockout Champion, the virtuosa Diana Purrazzo. And introducing her opponent, hailing from San Juan, Puerto Rico. She is the reigning and defending Ladies Night Out Champion, all of wrestling superstar, Evelyn All right, and here we go. We are getting set for our main event and ladies' night out. We are live in Beaumont, Texas at Ford Park. The ladies' night out championship is on the line. There you see it. That is what it's all about. The current ladies' night out champion, Eva Lise, putting that title on the line against the current Impact Wrestling Knockouts champion, Deanna Perrazzo, two of the very best women's wrestlers in all the world today, going one-on-one -on -one here tonight. Thank you for joining us on Title Match Network. I am Sammy Kiss. I've been calling the action all night long. Thank you for joining us. We want you to use that hashtag, the show, on social media. Talk about all the great action you can always see right here on Title Match Network. And there's a nice takedown from the challenger. Just like that, you see the champion, Ivelisse, slipping out, and Deanna Peraza signaling that might have been over just like that. Two great technical wrestlers going out of here tonight. Got the virtuosa Deanna Peraza, who considers herself a submission wrestling specialist. She hooks in that Fujiwara armbar. There you see already working that left arm with the champion Eva Lise. If Deanna Peraza is able to put in that Fujiwara armbar, it's going to be all over. We're going to have a new champion. And there's Eva Lise trying to, s to s slide out of this, but Deanna Peraza maintaining wrist control, and there's some stiff kicks. Eva Lise able to create some separation. But again, working over that arm. There's the first cover. Got a one count out of it. And again, Deanna right back on that arm. No! no. Turn fire from Deanna. Oh, but she gets caught though. And he believes drops the challenger down. Deanna working over that arm. She might have just, might have just pissed off the champion. Oh, there's a stiff kick right to the chest and another one. You don't want to mess with Ivelisse, who's become the face of Ladies Night Out. Oh, you see Donna going again for that arm. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. Front face lock goes to the middle rope. Oh, it drops. Drops Deanna with a DDT. Goes for the cover. Great finds the near leg. Got a two count out of it. Just like that. Now Ivelisse yeah. mounting Deanna Perrazzo. Yeah. Ivelisse has become the face of Ladies Night Out. I mean, who could ever forget? Oh, here's another cover. Looks far like again. You can forget that incredible matchup between Ivelisse and Kira Hogan in the steel cage of Ladies Night Out 3. And it was at Ladies Night Out 8 where Ivelisse defeated Miranda Alizé to become the very first Ladies Night Out champion. Stiff kick right to the face. Palmer got a two count. I don't like you, man. <laughs> Again, you see the champion tend to that arm, but she's just laying it in. 
Title Match Network and ladies and I were trying to bring you the best action as long as we've been a long road to get here. Finally, the return on Title Match Network. Thank you for joining us. If you'd like to check out the last Ladies Night Out event, Ladies Night Out Night is available for free on the Title Match Network YouTube channel. We're here tonight has been a long time coming and you know that Ivelisse does not want to return to Ladies Night Out and walk out with anything less than the Ladies Night Out Championship. What would it mean for Deanna Peraza, who finally gets out of it? A nice arm drag to walk out not only as the Impact Wrestling Women's Champion, but also the Ladies Night Out Champion. He's laying the boots into the into Ivelisse. We got some Impact Wrestling versus AEW action going on here. Irish Whip, Ivelisse reverses. She gets met. Up. Oh, and a big German suplex holding Ivelisse up like an accordion. This is the kind of action you really see here at Ladies Night Out, too. The absolute best. A kick right to the solar plexus. Going for another knee right to the face. And the champion is dazed. That might be it. One. No. Only got a two count. Only got a two count. Let's go, Deanna Peraza, one of the absolute best. She's been the face of that knockouts division for some time now. She wants to take over as the face here at Ladies Night Out. And now we're coming to blows back and forth. These two women are going. Neither one holding it back. Here's some fire from Deanna Peraza. Ivelisse trying to create some separation. And Deanna meets her. Back and forth we go. Here comes the Virtuosa. Ducks under. Oh, and both thinking the same thing, colliding in the middle. Now both women are down. And the referee will start her count. Ladies Night Out Championship is on the line. This is your Ladies Night Out main event. We've seen some epic contests here tonight, some great action. The two best in the game all and taking her down to the champion Eva Lise. Return fire from Deanna. Back for go. It's a bicycle kick. Non-stop action here in her main event. Another armbar. Oh, she's going for it. She's going for the Fujiwara armbar. Can she stitch it in? Can she bar that arm? She straightens up. Evil has got to get to the rope and she rolls through. She rolls all the way to her back. Looking that bottom rope, forcing, forcing Gianna to let go of the hold. Here's another cover. Ivelisse clutching that left arm, now arguing with the referee. Some of the fans here are saying that might have been three. It's the referee's discretion. This match will continue. And, oh, Deanna reverses it again back into the armbar. The Fujiwara armbar is cinched in. This is it. Can the champion hold on? She's in the middle of the ring. She's far away from the way. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Miranda Alize. Now the referee calling for the bell. What the hell? Now Miranda Alize attacking Deanna Perrazzo. We've seen some history. And now both ladies, Miranda and Ivelisse, taking the boost to Deanna. And oh, and then here comes Jordan Grace, also of Impact Wrestling, coming to the aid of the Impact Wrestling champion, Deanna Perrazzo. We know that Ivelisse, along with Diamante Las Sicarias, has taken Miranda Alizé under their wing. It's a terrible shame that this championship contest had to end like this. 
I mean, we were sure to have a new champion in Deanna Perrazzo. Jordan Gray staring a hole. And the champion, Eve Lee, is looking for the official word from, from the referee here. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has declared the winner of this contest as a result of a disqualification, the winner, Deanna Perrazzo. However, due to the fact that the title cannot change hands on a disqualification, still the ladies' night out champion, Eva Lee. Match Wrestling. This match is brought to you <laughs> in part by Title Match yes. Wrestling so thank Network. Thank you very much, Title Match Wrestling, for giving us this nice treat tonight. Man. Let's see with this crowd, because they can go either way. We saw the huge pop come out for Nathan Bradley. Huge pop come out for Miranda. Oh, front, front headlock taken. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, chop to the stomach. Did you just chop him? That's the thing, though. You gotta be. Uh, yeah, you gotta wait nip for those right out of it. I'm, if you're a woman, a man, it doesn't matter. This is a intergender match. That announcement was brought to us by Title, Title Match, Match Wrestling. Wrestling. Need to go move your car. You know what? The smoothness of Nathan Bradley never ceases to amaze me. Fighting for, for position, I mean, I'd like to think that the strength has to go to Nathan Bradley, but the speed, I'm not sure. I mean, I might have to give that to Miranda. Yeah, we, just saw, we just saw that matchup last month, Nathan Bradley versus Will Alday, and they were going... Nothing but speed, Infinity. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, before this, Legend had it that they were still wrestling. Oh, Legend had it. Oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> So he just used that instant transmission That's to get right. backstage through those curtains. Hey, those pockets are deep, man. <laughs> hey, Nathan Bradley, I need a challenger, bro. Oh. There goes that. Oh, oh big runner. Oh. Oh, she's going to turn it over. Mine's drop in. Wait. Oh, one of them was on the rope. Too close to the ropes. Waist lock. Here we go up into Casa Loda. Arm drag out. Oh, baby. Uh oh. Oh, monkey flip. Nope. Nah, he's not going to fall for it this time. Oh. oh let's see. There's that receipt. Oh, blocks it. Rana for the second. Oh, Miranda's gonna fly. Oh, the Lope! Bring her back into the ring. Look at. 
Miranda on top of this match right now. Maybe a little bit more than what Nathan Bradley expected. Oh, go for the reversal. Up. Oh, oh. pop up face plant. Here goes Nathan Bradley using that strength advantage. Big clothesline, Nathan Brad, that $5,000 clothesline. I got my money on Nathan Bradley, Diego. What do you got? Well, actually, he has my money. Um, <laughs> so if you get it, let me know, because I, I need it back. <laughs> oh, small package. Oh. Oh, wow. Kick to the mouth. There's a lot of red in that ring. Earlier it was blood and now it's her hair. Oh! Some would say it's part of the blood. Oh, big elbow. Oh! Vertical suplex, here we go with the, is that enough? Oh, no it wasn't. Hey look, it's our good old friend Isaac. <laughs> Finally, Isaac making it back out. Could it be? Oh! Ooh so much for the taste in his mouth because he just got it slapped out. Oy. Oh, big chop. Oh, Oy. big chop. Oy. 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 Gotta get her back, Nathan. Oh, oh running drop kick. I should see him kicking out at two. Oh, big kick to the back. Front chin lock, here we go. Now, now is where Nathan Bradley's gonna wear her down. Speed is a big part of her game. Right now, he's slowing her down. Oh, big shots to the gut. Trying to make that separation. Oh, oh, more chops. Bandera to the outside. Oh! They're checking on her, make sure she's okay. Wait, wait a minute. Oh! oh hey. the local, he took out, he hey, took hey, out the local the crew. Crossfires. He took out the, the local wrist. crew. I love our local crowd. <laughs> They're bringing the action. Where the, they can't be fighting to the back. Oh, no. We got Miranda and Nathan Bradley making their way to the entrance oh, area. They're, the what the they're right hell? next to us. Okay, they're going, they're going okay, down the ramp. <laughs> going back to the ring. Take it back to the ring. We've seen too much action, too much dangerous action outside of the ring tonight. I'm going to have to tell Reggie, I need insurance to work here because something eventually is going to happen to me here. She drinking beer? <laughs> Big shot to Miranda from Nathan. You know what? That, I mean, she was drinking beer. Ducks the line. Ducks again. Oh! <laughs> Isaac at the four count. One of them's got to get up. They're both showing signs of life. But who has enough to get to their feet? Nathan Bradley. Oh, Miranda. Isaac's gonna let him go. Boom, big shot. Boom, big shot. Oh, oh. Oh, shot after shot after shot. Oh! oh my first mistake. 
snake. Into the cross face. Come on. Come on, Isaac, you gotta ask him. He's so close to the rope. He's gonna tap. He's gonna tap. He's gonna tap. Wait, he's gonna tap. I see. Oh, I could have swore he was gonna tap. She was really wrenching on that. Look, Nathan Bradley. Oh, see? She was wrenching on that. You didn't see that? Going for a cutter of some kind. Oh! <laughs> Good night. Snapdragon suplex. <laughs> How? How is she kicking out of this? Nathan Brad you know what Nathan Bradley's right to, to, to question Isaac. I could have swore that was a three. Isaac, count. what the hell are you doing? Nathan Bradley's gotta put it away quick. She's down. After that suplex, come on, we gotta go home. Take her home. Oh, she's got a lot of fight left. Oh, big knee to the face. Oh, come on. Oh, still not enough. She's got to be going through her, oh man, her Rolodex of moves in her head. She's throwing everything at Nathan Bradley. And vice versa, Nathan has hit her with almost everything he's got and they're both just kicking almost out. Almost everything. Almost. Almost everything. When you got pockets that deep, there's some wiggle room in there. Uh oh, where's she going? Oh, flipping in Zaguri. Exhibit A. He's gonna do it. He's gonna finish. Bam! Oh. One, two. Shooting star press didn't finish it. The running shooting star didn't finish it. I think, you know what, I think... Uh, Isaac is slow counting? Is that what you're saying? I was gonna say, I think Nathan's a little bit tired of Isaac. Isaac's been in almost every match tonight except for two. And there's gotta be some fatigue setting in on Isaac. Nathan's going to the top. Maybe, maybe on the he perch. forgot to tip him. Oh, lands on his feet. Oh, cutter by Miranda. Big, big knee to the face. Miranda with the W. This is, this is a premier women's wrestling bout. You cannot ask for something bigger. Slamovich and Roxy. And I'll be honest, I'm surprised at how surprised at how divided the crowd is here tonight. I would have figured that Roxy would have been a clear fan favorite, but the birthday girl getting some adulation of her own here. All right, let's get it on. And as this matchup starts, you gotta believe the power advantage is definitely in the hands of Masha Slamovich. Roxy, the more technical of the two, gonna have to rely on that technical prowess to keep Masha off of her game. As demonstrated takeover. there with that headlock takedown. And now Masha utilizing a little bit of technical prowess of her own. But Roxy, a mat technician, unrivaled at her age, works her way out of the predicament. Not backing down at all from the challenge of Masha Slamovich. You know, I keep forgetting how young Roxy really is. Yeah, it's 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 sometimes hard for me to remember that as well. Roxy, only 19 years of age, already 
making her debut with Ring of Honor recently, on her way to possibly becoming the new Ring of Honor Women's Champion sometime later this summer. And here she is with Masha Slamovich in front of this crowd here at Houston Premier Arena, showing exactly what she does so well. I liked how Masha got out of that. Masha, one of the more impressive talents we brought into RWR. She's got a little bit of everything. You've got to watch her and you've got to stay on your toes because while admittedly she is a powerhouse, she can, she can pull some things out that are going to surprise you. Here you're seeing exactly how well she can control the situation with some well-placed uh, manipulation of the limbs. Adding in that wrenching power that gives her such an advantage. Just incredible. Did you see the torque on that shoulder? Both of these women very, very skilled at picking their spot and going for it. Okay, Masha. Masha with the athleticism, bringing Roxy down. I don't think I've seen Masha pull that up before. Masha will always surprise you. She is consistently one of the most innovative young performers you'll see. But look at Roxy here. Oh, With look an at the impressive bridge. bridge. Gets a two count out of it. And that's the sort of thing you love to see from Roxy, that innovative offense. And now Masha test calling for a test of strength. What? That's right, Roxy. But Roxy just wants this to be a fight. Looking to go for that cross face. But Masha able to make it to that bottom rope. Masha knew what she was gonna go for. Get out of it while you can. Uh oh. Yeehaw. Howdy. She looks good in that hat. It suits her. But that somehow just feels wrong. And Masha not taking too kindly to the insult there. I wouldn't want to piss her off. Yeah, I, I will be perfectly honest. Um, you've seen that I'm not afraid to antagonize some of the members of the RWR roster, but one person I will not piss off is Masha Slamovich. I wouldn't want to either, because look what she's doing now. It's what happens when you make Masha Slamovich mad. Yeah. You definitely don't want an angry Russian on oh your hands. Oh, gosh. As capable as Roxy is, she's got to be careful that she doesn't unleash something that she can't handle here. And you can tell the frustration settling in with Masha. She really, really wanted something more out of that cover. Roxy taking her down to the mat. It's like almost like an octopus stretch type. Roxy getting a little aggressive. I haven't seen this side of Roxy in a while. Ooh. Oh, what a kick to that the kick head. That kick rocked her. Roxy rocked and goes down to the mat. I see what you did there. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I'm known for. And Masha wrenching Roxy using the hair and oh a vicious goodness. chop. Lays She's Roxy out like a shirt over a clothesline. The referee really needs to gain control here. Masha just... She's trying to pull hair off of her scalp. She's trying to snatch that scalp. Roxy about to get her hair ripped out by the roots. Masha goes for a cover and gets a two count. And now Masha trying to intimidate Hunter. 
our referee for this contest. I would be scared if I was the referee. You'll notice I didn't volunteer for the job. Vicious oh, scoop slam. slam. And now wrenching against the back, trying to tear those shoulders right out of socket. Look how far her arms are bent, like, oh my gosh. Oh, Roxy got out of it. Oh, man. What? Now we got a back and forth exchange here. What a. These chops are just killer. Ooh, what a knee to the face. Oh, look that's press and she's just going at it. These fans are loving what they're seeing. Oh, beautiful Russian leg sweep. Oh, into, into a cross face. Is Masha gonna tap here? she get out of that? Only gets a two count there. Oh. oh my gosh, what a black mass. And now Masha has Roxy up. I don't even know what you would call that, but Roxy is down and now the cover, one. Two and almost so a three. close. Oh my goodness. You got to imagine, you have to imagine that Masha is stunned and she goes for a cover again and only gets a two yet again. Masha's upset, and you can tell she's frustrated. Now, Masha going on the offensive. And, the, and Hunter, our referee, is called for the bell. Masha refusing, refusing to let go of Roxy here. She is choking out Roxy. Hunter. And the refer, our referee is trying to pull Masha off to little avail. And we've got... We've got members of the RWR backstage crew, management team, trying to keep these two ladies separated. Trying to regain some measure of control. <gasps> and Roxy, Roxy doesn't want this fight to Roxy end. Roxy and Masha. Roxy and Masha. These two, these two want a fight. Roxy. What? And Masha's broken fruit. Masha going after Roxy in the corner. I don't know how many this minutes it's going to take to restrain Masha Slamovich, but we don't have enough right now. He'll do it too. That's our head of talent relations sure there. Uh-oh, you don't call a woman psycho. Yeah, I'm, I'm not entirely sure that that was the right move. Oh! But Masha, Masha oh. needs to think about what she's about to do here. At least... What did Roxy just do? Roxy, Roxy with the low What blow. is Roxy doing? Roxy has a chair. Oh! Roxy, what? Oh! Ro 
Roxy! Roxy! No, Roxy, what are you doing? What did we just see? Roxy has lost it. I don't know what I just saw. What is this? Roxy with the chair. And she is storming out, leaving our head of talent relations with quite possibly a terrible concussion in the ring. What oh my is God. this? I don't know what I just saw. What happened? Title Match Network, your source for everything pro wrestling, with exclusive live pay-per-views featuring top talent from around the world. There. Uh -oh. oh, I like that one. Details direct from the source with deep diving shoot interviews and podcasts. I love it. I love being a part of Title Match Network. Get extreme with exclusive death matches. I threw the door! And of course, the best selection in women's wrestling available. Oh! What's gonna happen? Oh! oh. With thousands of clips featured on Title Match Network's YouTube channel with over 2.3 million subscribers. Oh! All at the tips of your fingers. Every style available 24 7 on demand. Visit TitleMatchNetwork.com to sign up today and start watching instantly. TitleMatchNetwork.com Most people may know her as one half of the Sea stars but Delmi is looking to forge her own path and establish herself as a singles competitor and a win tonight would surely do that for her as she's kind of getting into it with the crowd a little bit here tonight already. Certainly, I mean, Delmi at picking fights with fans here in Houston. I mean, you've got to be a pretty bold person to to be heckling. What, it's both a deity and royalty and the god queen. I don't know, but whatever the case, Delmi Exo acknowledged online and said that when you're good at what you do, you get put into tournaments. She said that she's the best at what she does, so she's going to win the tournament. But not if Rain Lynn has anything to say about it. Lighten her up with a flurry is Ray Cray. Rosadora into the arm drag from Ray Lynn. You mentioned Delmi getting her first taste of the CCW ring. Raylan getting her second taste here tonight and saying no signs, no signs of stopping. Yeah, hoping to get a, a third taste later this evening if she can make it to the finals. Look at that, just diving in full force, taking Delmi back off her feet with the drop kick. Into the cover, hooks the leg. Delmi exo a vehement kick out. Not how she wants things to end here in her in-ring debut at CCW. You know, Delmi's had an interesting story arc though the last year, overcoming a lot of adversity. Ooh, after a car accident and signing with MLW earlier this year. Oh, jeez. Yeah, incredible, uh, incredible opportunity for Delmi Exo being able to showcase her skills at MLW, but now looking to show her skills here at CCW and looking to advance to the finals of the tournament. And you can see Baron down on Ray Lynn, trying to give her less room to, to collect her dread. Dumpy already knows that she's the pressure of the two competitors. And I mean, I don't know if we started the clock, but Dumpy said that Ray won't last five minutes with her. Well, I mean, Ray Lynn is a, an uphill battle ahead of her if she wants to make it to the finals. She already beat Notorious Mimi, but like you said, Delmi, the fresher of the two, now the one in control. But hello. Ooh, almost like a fisherman suplex straight into the cover. But able to shift her body in such a way, Ray Lynn escapes the pinfall. Now Delmi Exo. Oh no, she's gonna take out whatever the fans are saying to her and take it out on Ray Lynn. I think she's gonna take out anybody that stands in her way, period, Alyssa. Yeah, you're, you're definitely no doubt about that, Ella. Bounding in with double knees. And now wrenching Ray Lynn out of the corner into the cover, but Ray Lynn kicks out. Wow. I mean, this is all of that built up frustration from not being able to compete last month when her opponent was 
not medically cleared. And now could be looking for that dummy driver, but a, a knee straight to the midsection. And now Delmi finds herself in the corner. Great limb with the uppercut, and now whips Delmi out, but quick reversal and wrenches Ray Lynn back into the corner. Ray cradling the, the back of her head against the impact, and now Delmi just putting all her body weight on the chest of Ray Lynn. We're getting into it with our official here tonight, too, as well. Delmi Exo making no friends here at Capitol. And now look, just choking Ray Lynn over the ropes. Obviously, we know that's nothing that's going to end a matchup, but can it do enough damage? You know, when, when the throne's on the line, when there is a crowd on the line, this, I kind of don't blame Delmi. She's focused on the objective. And the objective right now is taking down Ray Lynn, who is now maybe, maybe building a comeback. <laughs> Oh, jeez, but not if Delmi drives another knee into the midsection. God Queen, nothing without her crown. Delmi saying that she was the queen of queens. But Ray Lynn now with the, the rear waist lock. Trying to, oh, yeah, tips the legs out from underneath the God Queen. Now tangling up the lower body and... Delmi had to be very aware. Her shoulders were down on the mat, but now shifting into position. Look at all this pressure from Ray Lynn. Delmi trying to crawl towards the ring ropes to break this up, but she's pretty in entangled there. Pretty entangled. I think just so much focus on the pain and getting it to stop. Now just swinging at one another. Yeah, as you said, the lower body just entangled, keeping each other at a close distance to unleash these palatial straps. Now shoved off that lock between the two, broken. Closing the distance with a boot is Delmi Exo. Look at that power from the God Queen. Ray Lynn is in a way. Oh, no, no, no. Delmi Exo with Raylan on the shoulders could be looking for that Ocean Cyclone suplex. Well scouted by Raylan. Oh my gosh, off with her head. Stacking up the God Queen. And Raylan's victorious. Raylan, two for two tonight. Can she go three for three, Alyssa? TitleMatchNetwork.com
level and walked away with championship gold no qualifiers nothing that uh, uh, diluted the title this is you see the two about to square off here like you were saying Nigel Tessa Blanchard's record speaks for itself Vert Vixen already in with the mind games here. She was ready to come out here and fight. And Vert Vixen too, these two definitely a tail of the tape as it were. They're pretty matched in size and agility here. But like you've said before, Tessa definitely has the veteran status in this ring at the moment. No, not just the veteran status, she has the pedigree. She does have the pedigree, has the has oh. the history, but Vert Vixen, let's not take anything away from Vert Vixen here. She is a professional herself. She has been all over the country. She has been oh. on AEW. She has trained in Taekwondo. She takes her conditioning very seriously and has been a, a professional wrestler, a serious wrestler for years at this point. She does bring her own wealth of experience to the table, and Tessa could find that out the hard way tonight. And here we go. Kip up by Tessa. And there with the wrist lock and into the and then into the headlock and into a takeover pure wrestling at its finest these two competitors are showing and there you see it right there exactly what we were talking about tessa blanchard getting her on the takeover but vert vixen coming right back with the head scissors tessa blanchard daughter <laughs> of tully blanchard one one fourth of the legendary legendary four horsemen Yes, indeed, and here we go, waist lock and a reversal by Vert shooting her off the ropes and Blanchard with a quick roll up, but no count there. Just trying to throw Vert Vixen off her game, but Vert throwing with that head scissors, tilt-a-whirl, and <laughs> Blanchard with that trip up. The quickness. Both of these ladies just trading back and forth. Oh! And there you see it, the double kip up. <laughs> oh, and stand and deliver, these two are doing. Tessa impressed, Tessa giving a little clap. That's actually a lot coming from Tessa Blanchard. She. Oh. Do you think that was an actual clap or was that more a little bit of sarcasm? Oh, okay. I'm not entirely right. sure. I'm not in Tessa Blanchard's head, but you know, you gotta be impressed with Vert Vixen here being able to, oh! oh do something like that to a legend of the short. Legend in the making, certainly. Tessa Blanchard. That short face buster there. Exactly, and the speed and agility of Vert Vixen on display, how quickly she rolled through, how fast that snap was, just driving Tessa Blanchard straight down to the mat. Well, Tessa, uh, well, Vert, ooh. Vert definitely, she actually models herself after, you know, a video game character oh so she's got she's gonna have all the stamina all the quickness all the flair of somebody you would see in a video game definitely living up to her namesake her inspiration in this match looks like she may need a power up here shortly though tessa blanchard driving oh. her into the corner yeah i don't think that turnbuckle was a power up oh no and there's a choke with the foot the referee counting as they're on the ropes Oh, and the kicks to the stomach. Vert trying to get away. The Charlie horse to it as well. Vert taking a moment outside the ring. 
Tessa just admiring her work, as it were. Oh. Blanchard yeah. gonna go ahead and let Vixen try and drag herself up. I mean, gross how I feel about it, it is the smartest way to go about this match. While Vert Vixen is on the outside being checked on by the referee, Tessa basically gets a free chance to recover from their opening exchange. As Vert Vixen slowly fighting her way back up. She is indeed, and you know, it's the thing is that Tessa Blanchard is undeniably the first female world champion in Impact, and she never lost the title. She defeated Sammy Callahan, and I'm going to tell you right now, that match was undeniably brutal, so she can definitely go with the best of them. And here she is giving Bird oh. just a little taste of what she did to Sammy. Oh, so much for the spine. Oh, and again. Her, her, fa her father was one half of the brain busters. Now Tess is uh, the backbreaker. <laughs> <laughs> definitely so. Going for the cover. But I mean, to that point, the Brain Busters, the Four Horsemen, two of the most technically sound professional wrestling teams, tag team or quartet, doesn't matter in the history of our business. There are people today in 2022 oh. still modeling their tag team origins off of what her father did. They are indeed, and here she is. And slowing the pace a little by putting Vert Vixen here in this chokehold. Tessa Blanchard dictating the pace of the match here from Vert Vixen rolling outside, catching her breath to where she is right now, exactly with this headlock, just slowly grinding Vert Vixen down. The ring experience of Tessa Blanchard on display. She is not going to let Vert Vixen get up to that base and use any type of offensive game against her if she can help it. That being said, Vert Vixen still striking back here. Oh, oh what a super kick to the jaw. Oh. And a, oh, and <laughs> it's Vert. Tough. Vert mad about that kind of pin. <laughs> that's, that's, that's definitely shades of the horseman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying this uh, brutality to Vert, but it looks like Tessa, oh, a slap to the face. And just a disrespect there. Oh! Tessa Blanchard showing she is undeniable and she's undeniably beating Vert Vixen in this ring, but Vert is not backing down. Oh! And credit to Vert Vixen for stepping up to Tessa, but if that's going to be the result, oh, oh! Oh, and the fists are flying! So like I may have spoken too soon. Vert Vixen on the offense. Oh, and that running knee. <laughs> Tessa kicking and screaming from that. Uh, understandably so after the impact she just suffered there. But you see Vert Vixen, all the punishment she's taken in this match, not really able to capitalize on it right now. I mean, the sheer amount of championship gold that, that Tessa Blanchard has had. Yes, indeed. Vert, Vert Vixen needs to be respectful of, of the opportunity just to stand oh. in the oh God, just to stand in the ring with Tessa Blanchard. I mean, I feel like she's definitely trying oh. to fight back. She may be trying to earn respect from Tessa by going toe to toe with her. Oh, and another hard forearm sending Tessa down, but not but all the way taking a knee. I think you touched on a good point trying to get Tessa's respect. I think Vert Vixen does very much respect Tessa Blanchard and everything that she's done so far. Oh, but Vert a, Vixen wants to prove that she's and better. And a flurry of forearms from Vert. Oh. <laughs> spinning forearm. Oh, and what a clothesline. And another. Vert with the banshee scream trying to will herself back into position here to take this oh baseball slide but a miss oh and there's the kick good night Tessa Blanchard sent all dizzy and spinning and cover not quite Vert Vixen hitting the Michinoku driver but 
Tessa Blanchard still being able to kick out of it. In the immortal words of Moses to the rabbits, only two. Only, only two. two. <laughs> only two. Well, indeed, but Tessa being smart rolling outside, but Vert staying on top of her. Oh, no. What's she going to do? But oh. Tessa died. Oh. Sent Vert down to her knees, almost into the crowd. And again. Again. Oh, no. oh but Tessa coming up short, getting those ropes caught up. You do not know how devastating it is to try to fly. And she's doing it again. What? No. Oh, and again. Colliding. Into the crowd. Both these women down on the outside, just three consecutive dives by Tessa Blanchard to Vert Vixen on the outside, just right in front of the front row of fans here. Well, I mean, you, you pay your money, you take your chances. You do indeed. If you're sitting front row, I consider that the splash zone, and I don't mean with water, I mean with bodies. Uh -oh. What? Blanchard with ill intent. Oh! oh! Just vicious offensive strikes by Tessa Blanchard. Fans, if you're watching this, just so you know, this is wrestling. Blanchard now. Oh! 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 And Blanchard's out of cover. She might be. Oh. oh my goodness, revived back from the dead, Tessa Blanchard back in this fight. Tessa Blanchard refusing to give up here in this match. Vert Vixen, I mean, if, if you're in Vert Vixen's shoes, you have to be thinking what else you have to do. She just hit her with a flurry of offense. Although Vert Vixen not content to rest on her oh. heels here, got her up. Into the corner. But, oh, what a big boot. Tessa ran face first into that, and now Vert up on the top, but no. Kick oh, this this is not a good place. Not at all. She is set up. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Look, Vixen battling. Honestly, at this point in the match, I don't know who has the upper hand. They both have been. Oh. oh through a lot and it could go either way in this it definitely could both of these women oh. Oh. oh my god what a code breaker in the corner and a cover oh my goodness look like a version of the magnum she usually hits that from the second rope there but the running version there almost putting vert vixen away Nigel, it's one of those things that we've seen a lot of Tessa Blanchard's work all over the world, especially in Impact Wrestling as well. And it's one of those things of she is pulling out all the stops here on Vert Vixen. I, I mean, I, I was stating earlier the, the sheer amount of gold. The, 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 the ECWA chick fight winner, the, the WOW champion, Impact women's champion, the, the Shimmer tag team champion. Oh, oh my goodness. I, and, and again, that, that, that world championship from yeah. Impact Wrestling. And, just oh. being in this ring. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Springboard. And a two. That springboard in Zaguri to the side of Tessa Blanchard's head. And there you see Vert Vixen right there arguing with the referee, just like we were saying, just almost frustrated with how resilient Tessa Blanchard has been. She has taken the entirety of her offense so far. What do you mean almost absolutely frustrated? If you've thrown everything, including the kitchen sink, at Tessa Blanchard and she still kicks out, uh, Vixen has to be absolutely beside herself. Yes, oh, and oh. she just got kicked in the jaw. And now she's back with the forums. I don't know if that hurt or, oh, frustrated her. I would, I would say column A and B. Yeah, regardless <laughs> of which one it is, Tessa Blanchard feeling the effects of it. Dixon, 
doing everything she can to try and get Blanchard into a, an operable position. Which she has to, but both of these women in a bad position right now. This could go either way. Not safe, not smart. Oh, and they've already, I mean, Tessa and Ver have taken those dives pretty hard outside the ring, and now they're both on the ropes. These fans having a seesaw back and forth now behind Tessa Blanchard. Oh, no, Tessa. Tessa's got the upper hand oh. and she's just plummeting face first and then cover. Two kick out and a scream of frustration from Blanchard. Some of the crowd making their feelings known here, not happy with uh, the referee there, but. Oh, Vert not giving up, but Tessa back with the clubbing blows of her own. Up in the carry. Look at this. Oh! oh. Looked like a cutter for a second, but. Oh, oh no! Just angered Tessa Blanchard. Oh, oh my god! Hitting one of her own! Cover! Oh my goodness! Oh. I, I don't know about either of you, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say it right now. Disney Plus di cast the wrong persons as She-Hulk because they're both in the ring right now. That indeed. I find it hard to, to disagree. I mean, you're right, both of these women just putting on an incredible being, showing. What did I say about me being right? Oh, I don't this know. This is don't know. indeed a clinic oh. here. Tessa up to the top rope, flying. Oh, my there God. it is. <laughs> and a cover now. Here's your winner by Pitbull, Tessa Blanchard. Michael Scott, credit where credit is due. Tessa Blanchard proving once again exactly why she's in the position that she's in in professional wrestling, but you cannot, I repeat, cannot take anything away from player one. Burt Vixen took everything that Tessa had and more. That diving code breaker that was, it. you called it the magnum earlier, from the top rope was the only thing that could put the brakes on player one's ascension. Tessa Blanchard proving that uh, <laughs> the apocalypse comes for one when Blanchard's in the ring. Thunder, Thunder, taking that Queen Amanada sign from front row, taking offense to it. They, and Amanada has a Thunder Rosa sign, and, and oh! Well, it was all fun and games. Well, that started about as amicably as we thought it was going to, as the two competitors make their way back into the ring. Thunder Rosa, Queen Amanada, two of the strongest independent wrestlers on the scene today. Champions in their own right, strong, strong competitors. This could go either way. All right, let's get it on. Like 
despite what some people may have wanted, we are going to settle this in the ring. And Thunder Rosa trying to maintain control. Roll through, cover one. Thunder Rosa with a bridge using that technical wrestling prowess. Showcasing exactly why she is a former NWA Women's Champion, showing exactly why she was one of the first women ever to main event AEW Dynamite, showing exactly why she is one of the most beloved figures on the independent wrestling scene today. Goes for the cover, only able to get a two count. Queen Aminata wrestling her way out of it. Both of these women going to the mat. Cross face. Into a cover. We could have expected to see something like this. Oh, now cross face. The one upmanship <laughs> that we're seeing from Thunder Rosa and Queen Aminata rolling back and forth, each one jockeying for position who can have and who can regain and maintain control here in the early, early opening moments of this contest. Looks like they're going to do Looks test like of strength they're going, here. They're going in here, test of strength. You would think that both of these competitors are fairly evenly matched. Queen Aminata taking the early advantage here, pressing Thunder Rosa down to the mat. Drops for cover one. One count. Thunder Rosa going for a cover of her own. Aminata able to roll to the ropes. Irish whip. Oh, and look at that arm drag. And another one. Beautiful single leg kick. Thunder Rosa is a fiery performer. She does not let up. Showcasing what makes her so special. Off the ropes yet again. Using her body as a weapon off the ropes. Goes for a cover. One. Just, just a, a one, one count. count. Just a one. Oh, no. okay. Repeated covers not getting it done here for Thunder Rosa. You're Mexican, right? you come so slow. Snapmare takes her down. And a vicious Damn. kick to the back from Queen Aminata that hits like a thundercrack. And Thunder with a kick of her own. They're just going to keep doing things back and forth. <laughs> Neither of these women are going to be able to sit up straight in the morning. They're going to want to see a chiropractor or a licensed Another physician. One. Oh, vicious strikes from Queen Aminata. Single leg takedown, attempted stomp from Thunder Rosa. Queen Aminata goes for a clothesline. Thunder Rosa taking her off her feet. And employing those vicious strikes. Lightning speed, I can barely even keep up what's going on. Two count, that's what's going on. We know that Thunder Rosa does not say die. She does not give up. Her match with Britt Baker on AEW Dynamite, one of the most violent contests I've ever seen. Women's wrestling, traditional wrestling, whatever you want to call it, Thunder Rosa showed exactly how tough she is, and she's showing that same resiliency here tonight as she steps into the ring with Queen Aminata at Rise of the Vixens 2. And Queen Aminata verbally letting us know she does not like the situation she finds herself in right now. I don't think I would like it either. Full Nelson, not a whole lot of fun, but she's able to work her way up. She's working herself back up to a vertical base, twisting herself out of it. But another clubbing blow sends her down. Thunder Rosa not giving up, not relenting. 
not doing anything other than what she came here to do, which is put the hurt on Queen Amanata. And that's a chop that'll give you PTSD. That one too. Running back elbow. Thunder has Queen Amanata in the corner. She's up against the ropes. Thunder looking to press her advantage here. Amanata gets the legs up. These strong kicks out here. My goodness. And now the crowd behind Amanata. Amanata chance breaking out here tonight. Snap suplex. And now Thunder Rosa is down with Queen Amanata taking the advantage here in this contest. Vicious kick. Amanata working the back, working the spine. Thunder Rosa just trying to find a way to fight her way back into this thing. Here. Not even enough for a one count. And now the fans trying to rally for Thunder Rosa. She is beloved here in the Texas scene. Not surprising that the fans would get behind her here tonight. A rolling German suplex. And Amanada goes for a cover. One, two. Not enough for not enough for a three count. This contest continues. And Amanada does what she wants, sends Thunder Rosa into the ropes. Thunder looking for a head scissors, but it looks like Amanada's gonna counter that oh. into a backbreaker. Again, going after that spine. She's been basically working on this line all match long. Amanada, a strong and intelligent performer, knows exactly what to work, knows exactly what to do to gain the advantage and keep it. Thunder Rosa is, as I've said, a very fierce competitor. She's not going to back down. Amanada can't let off the gas even for a second here if she expects to walk away with a win. Oh, missed that one. And we've seen that before again. Thunder Rosa on the offensive, bringing it to her back. Bringing and it all. to the competition. You can see she's still favoring that back, but she is putting her all into this contest. And now Thunder Rosa with the double underhook takes her over down to the mat with the cover. Two count. Not enough to put away Queen, Am Queen Amanada yet. What else are we gonna see in this match? Like they've thrown literally almost everything. Thunder Rosa is not gonna walk away until she's given everything that she can give here. Same thing with Queen Amanada. This thing conceivably could go all night until both competitors just drop. Oh, missed that one. And she mistimed that. Amanada going to the opposite side. Gets a little bit of momentum. Rear end. Going to trigger a concussion protocol again. And a vicious kick to the side of Thunder Rosa. And now you're just rubbing it in. Literally. Showboat, that is best. Goes for the cover. One, two. Not enough to put away Thunder Rosa. Again, none of the, neither of these competitors is going to go down easily. This is a situation where you're gonna see somebody, they'll continue if both of their legs are broken. They'll, they will work through that pain to get to a finish. Quick roll up, one, two. And Thunder Rosa almost be able to steal it. Hits Amanada with that kick off the ropes. One, two. Amanada kicks out. I don't know how she managed to get out of that one. Thunder Rosa signaling for the end. I would be comatose after a strike like that. Oh, 
Oh, cover. And now they're rolling, looking for a cover. Oh, what a standing sidekick. Aminata has Thunder Rosa hooked. And that rocked her. Goes for the cover. One, two. Almost. And she out of that. Almost. My God. Thunder Rosa refusing to say die here tonight at Rise of the Vixens 2. And Queen Aminata cannot believe it. She thought she walked away with a victory right there. But it's still not enough to keep her down. And now... Queen Aminata going to take a trip to the high rent district. She's going to go high risk here. I don't know if that's a good idea, though. We saw her pull this off at RWR Reloaded, but Thunder Rosa battling her on the ropes. Thunder with those knee strikes in the corner. Thunder Rosa has Aminata up on her shoulders. What are we going to see here? We're gonna see a reversal, one, two, and that almost put her away. Ducks the clothesline. Another reversal, another counter. Thunder Rosa with Aminata up on her shoulders. Oh! My gosh. Modified Death Valley driver. And Thunder Rosa able to put her away. TitleMatchNetwork.com. Now this is some contrasted styles right here. Elaborate. Well, looky here. She's tall and goddess-like, right, Miss Camille? She's shredded like a box of mini weeds. And again, we got Miss Angelica Risk, which I'm willing to take that risk. And again, she's short and compact, she's quick. So again, contrasting styles. All right. I, I, know, I think I made it work. No, you did. You got there, you got there. You're right, White Mike, I put you on the spot. Yeah, you did. And I still got my little one-liner yeah, in. Still got it, baby. He heard it too, I don't care. What's he gonna do? He can't right. make it up here. Right. Shoulders are too big to get in here. Yeah, man. Uh-oh. She is a brick house. She's my tomato. I'm done. And again, a, a severe height disadvantage as well, you know? And that hurt her from a clothesline to Camille. Oof. Oh, gosh. This is not looking good. Oh, three big blows. Good on Angelica to get out of the way. Just kind of create some space. Ooh. Camille said, no, you don't. Come back here. No, again, you don't want to get caught up in that, man. That's just a, a barrage of beatdown. Just oh, threw her across the ring by her neck. Mm. I like how you said that. Thought you might. That's why I said it that way. Put, a little, put some stank oh. on it. Oh. Oh. I don't think her feet touch the ground. Took that and she only hit the, the first two. Okay, yes, ma'am. Will she stop? I'll be talking again. Chris takes it to the outside, gets that breather. Camille she sure needs to. Holding her ground. And Camille's in a tough match again in the main event of night two. Uh oh, hang on. We've seen this happen oh, many gosh. times, and it's not. Oh, oh my God! Oh. Oh, right in the throat. Just. Oh. <laughs> Everyone getting too close to these ropes. Here comes too close rope. Ah, I tried. Risk going to the oh. high risk district. Ah, oh, man, you're too good. Big oh. toss. Oh. 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 Fell off the jetway again. <laughs> good grief. Oh, and that's how you tear a hammy, boy. Oh, and that's how you further tear it. Camille gets stopped on that top rope. Kick to the hip. There you go, and Helica, she just got to stay true. Keep chopping her down, breaking her down. Gotta keep oh, working that yeah. Wheel. Man, that really rocked the, the NWA Women's Champion right there. There you go. Stay on it, sister. Hey, <laughs> I'd hit both legs too. Again, you ain't walking, right? That's right. You take out her size. And again, yeah, you bring her down to your level, and that's exactly what Risk has done. That's a heck of a risk to take. 
Riz slowly becoming the tall person here. Yeah. Whoa! Should have took out her elbow. Hello. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> Try to take one of each out if you can. Because if she can throw, again, she's called the Bull City Bomber back in the day for a reason. She used to soft, man. She was one of the fastest softball pitchers in uh, college, I do believe. I don't know. It's, you know. I think I'm right. Bill taking the limp. I would hate to drag those boots like that because, again, you're scraping that gold off, girl. Yeah. Oh. Do a little something for everybody else, but she's got to keep moving. She's got to get that blood flowing. It's not going to heal if that blood is staying still. And again, Boom. she can't, maybe she can't walk. She's just dragging that foot. Like it don't work. She looks big whip, but she can't, she can't really. Oh, oh she no. couldn't go for it. She wasn't able to capitalize. I would figure out how to oh, do a again. four. Ouch. I would like sharper shooter or figure out a four or something, you know, man. Just really stay on the legs. That single leg Boston Crab. I put one of those uh, those Deathlock Scorpions on, man. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, he doesn't know the moves, right? No, he's just being stupid. Nice single leg crab right there. She doesn't have a good base on it, though. She's only got it by the ankle. You have to get that knee. You've got to control the knee for that to work. You really got to lock it in under the armpit, too, and just wrench back. Hey, Lance Storm, one of my favorites all time. Hit that thing out of the way. Now she's just driving oh. her shin into the, into the thigh and, then and twisting the knee up. And look at the size of her leg. Her, like, half of Camille's leg is almost as big as Riska's entire leg. It's crazy. Like, can I just get a piece of that? <laughs> can I get some arms like that, please? The good thing about Camille's height is she was able to get a couple chops in there. Even though she wasn't able to get to her at a proper height, she was able to get some, some reach on her. Got some yes, reach. Exactly. You might not be able to walk, but I can still throw. I still got wingspan, baby. You know what I mean? Oh! <laughs> That is not what I thought was gonna happen. Oh, did she did she do that with her with the lights? What was that was crazy. That's a risk she's willing to take, and she it paid off. I didn't know she had the lights like that. Uh oh, squish her little head in the buckle. Ouch! Kind of telegraphed that one right there. You can't do that with the NWA. Away. Oh, hangs on, holds uh. on. Down. Oh. <laughs> Elevator went to the penthouse. Woo. One of them back she plays. Good but grief. Bill getting the crowd. This crowd strongly behind the NWA Women's World Champion. Oh, God. Oh. Still able. Those legs barely holding. One leg and all still able. Is she going to snake us? Oh. I'm sorry. Whoa! Oh, my. Pump kick. Cool. That's what you want to call it, boy. Hey, he pumped her head right from her neck. Oh, nice neck breaker. Is that enough to put her away? Ah. Oh, it's not. Nah, she's got a lot of heart. That's rich. She talks a lot of, you know, garbage, but she's got fight in her. She's spicy AF. She's ready to fight. Camille selected some of that leg power to get a good bit of, of, of torque on that oh, pin. God. You see, just bend around Camille. <laughs> Got her up. Argentini and backbreaker to the torture rack. Oh, oh. oh, she couldn't do it. I was going to say nice neck pillow, but good grief. Fell right off. Camille would have had it right there. We're back to it. Nice. There back she goes. Still. Not getting all of that crab that she wants. Uh, she can get about that knee to the armpit she, and then bring that foot to the back of her head. We might have a new woman Just champion. start kicking her in the back of the head with her own foot. That'd be tight. The fans really, ah, oh, oh, they were. Risk they were. able to drag her back to the middle of the ring. That's where you want her. She like tap. That hands up. No way. Oh, I thought. No. Oh, she's crawling. She's using every bit of power left in those arms. And she's got and she reach. she gets the ropes. I mean, her legs are pretty much in the middle. And she's got reach, man. That's what you get when you're 5 foot 15. Hey, that's it. Ooh. 
six one. Nobody's home, and that move really discombobulates. When you spin like that, spear. She caught her. Could this be? And that oh is it. man. White Mike still in WA Women's World Champion. Oh yeah, the Brick House. Camille. And still the NWA Women's World Champion, Camille. Look at Bill right there, boy. He's ready to go. He, I got that belt right And again, when you miss a, a 505, AKA 619, AKA 718, you spin around those ropes, you're dizzy. And Camille took advantage of that and cut her in half with one leg to jump out of into a spear. And that shows you the power of Camille. Our NWA Women's World Champion. TitleMatchNetwork.com Title Match Network, the place for the best in women's wrestling. Exclusive pay-per-views with the top talent from around the world. Featuring Mission Pro Wrestling. <laughs> Capital Championship Wrestling. <laughs> Ladies Night Out. <laughs> and many, many more. Thousands of live events, all styles, available 24-7 on demand. Title Match Network. This is another woman who brought the fight to, you know, le legitimate badasses like John Wayne Murdoch and Dan Moth. These may be the women equivalent. <laughs> I mean, Roxy, I mean, this, this Roxy is... This ain't the prodigy. No, oh, this, this, she, she her own prodigy in her own way. In Just a, a more a violent different, way. A horrible, vile, and vicious way. Man, as this is unprecedented. I think this is the first Loco show to ever have two Loco rules matches on the same night. Well, here we go. Just, this is going to be brutal. Both headlined by women. We saw Mickey Knuckles and Sage Sin earlier. That may have just been a tiny preview. Oh my goodness, folks. The queen of the death match, at least I believe of the modern era. Remember, we saw Mickey Knuckles earlier. She may be scouting this one very close as Roxy, not the prodigy, like I've said, is giving it to her so well, so far, into a nice snap arm drag. Very nice there by Roxy to try to, try to you know, Little more of a wrestling the big, start. Yeah, it may be a smart move to try to make this as wrestling as possible. And not to discredit Sadiga, she is an accomplished grappler as well. One of the most experienced luchadoras pretty much here in the state. Hey, just saw uh oh just saw Brian and Oh! Just saw Brian Keith run out here. And he's I don't to, blame him. Trying to run away as fast as humanly possible. Even he knows not to mess with this. Sadiga cutting her down there. Wait, oh! Takes her back to the outside. And oh! oh. Drop kicks her off that apron. Onida tribute or not, Roxy, uh-oh. Second time, the charm. In a tope suicida. Beautiful, nicely done. Beautiful suicide divers. Unfortunately, we do have a door. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Thank you, random citizen. You know, let's give these two a raise. Hey, let's give our pay to those guys tonight. Wow. They saved us from a blur. Oh, and a beer can of the skull. Yeah. We could have missed that. Oh! The grief. A minute and a half in, things are getting violent. Oh, jeez, yeah, Nick. She's, she's not easing up on those either. I mean, Sadie got a human tank. She'll go through literal war and barely have a bullet wound in her. I've seen her go through walls, quite literally. Here, too. Nick, she could have a mosquito bite compared to the war she's been through. Roxy, look at that, taking that air horn, ladies and gentlemen. Someone argued that's worse than taking a light tube, it's taking an air horn. I mean, if you put it in your ear, forget it. You're gonna go deaf for a while. Uh oh, ladies and gentlemen, the doors again. This may well just be a door death match, but we do see the light tubes and a chair. Oh, did you hear that? How oh, can I not? Got the walls shook. What that vicious chair shot. Two women's matches, local rules matches, unprecedented on the same event. As the chair, look at that, the chair's got him all oh, skull first. Roxy may have been a little more than she could chew here. Oh no, hey, hey, hey. no, no, okay, thank you. Yeah, wait, wait, no, 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 hey, hey, please, hey. no. We are not the Spanish announce table. Oh my God, hey, I'm gonna move. 
Oh my goodness, hold on. Swinging Fisherman's Neckbreaker on the stage. God, I think they broke it. Look at that, the panels of the stage almost sank through. Shades of the short fuse, ladies and gentlemen, but that's only a two. Dented the stage. The stage is even more dented than earlier. Oh my god, she's not done. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh, and a club to the back. Uh, Hunter needs to try to reason with her. Wait, oh no, not again. It's like reasoning with a grizzly bear. A grizzly bear in the name of Sadika. Oh my goodness, no. There's only one way to go down. Literally. Oh my goodness, no. Oh my! Suplex on the stage! And what's worse, it's downhill, so technically it's even a further fall. Oh, that's awful. That was innovative and seductive, and smart, and painful. We need an, oh my goodness, look at that. You can put a finger on it and it's barely going down. This stage is not built for the kind of destruction we're witnessing here. My word, we might need a new Premier Arena when these two women are done. This is a war zone, folks. And those light tubes have not been broken yet, but don't count your chickens before they hatch, folks. Keyword is yet. Yet. Oh, oh there Roxy. we go. Roxy that light tube's taller than both these women combined. You're getting the Costco one. Oh, no. Hold on, folks. What is that? Like 12 feet? Oh, and it didn't break. Surprise. So like, oh! That cart was some the cooler. The, the cooler top, I believe. Oh, my goodness. No. Put your kids to bed now, folks. This is the time. We're gonna see some red. Some red, more like some glass. And, oh! Meaty aura using that 12 foot light tube. Gosh, go right in the face. Man, some of that almost flew to our table. Oh my goodness, no. Is she gonna grind her with that? No, she's not done oh, breaking no. it. It's about to one fourth its size, but she's still gonna try to use it. Oh my God, no! Using it as a grinder. Oh, Lord. That's sick. Stabbing her with the fluorescent. And now she's biting the wound. I feel bad for our cameraman over there. They gotta, gotta film this up close. And it's horror show. And we don't have a red filter, folks. That is actual what we're seeing. And all, all this ref hunter could do here is just basically watch. There's no way to break this up. I saved the camera while ago. Wow. Trying to, trying to break up a prison fight. Yeah. And when you're in your guard on its first day, I would not do that. Uh-oh, there's that broken chair into a, another broken chair. Roxy wearing the wounds of war, as they would oh, say. Yes. As you can see, look at that. Two broken chairs still good enough, apparently, to make a makeshift door table. She has a broken, broken door, broken chair. Broken stage. Broken bodies. Uh, everything that Sadika runs into usually breaks. Like I said, she's a human tank. She's OP. But in real life, oh, and violent. I know many men who d said, who told me, don't ever put me in a match with Sonic. Including Nick Gage. The Nick Gage. Oh, no. Light tubes in a door? Oh, no, that door almost gave way. Forgot the door giving away. What about her spine? And the light tubes? Oh, my goodness. Could she be going for Air Sadika? This woman is nuts. Oh, wait a minute, it took too much time. Yeah. Could this be the exact amount of momentum that Roxy needs? No. She's gotta be in a fight for survival. Fight for her life? I agree. No. For the love of all that is mighty, no! Oh! God. Through the door and the, some of those light tubes of that superplex! And our sensors aren't working right now, folks. I agree with the sentiment of what these fans are saying in unison. Cheese and rice. Cheese and crackers, brother. Good Lord. Wow. Well, I don't know what the heck is going to take to end this match, but we're sure going to find out. Indeed. As for sure, one of these men, or women, rather, sorry, one of these women's been along that are seeing red. I don't know about side they got just yet. Well, where's Roxy going? Maybe she's smart, oh. maybe she's leaving. But then, what is this, a no contest? No, she's gonna get something. We do have a lot of weapons back there. It's like a damn storage closet full of toys. 
and it's Christmas. Well, if this is well, if this is you know Santa's workshop, I'd hate to see. Um, you know, oh, wait a minute, like where's she going? I don't know. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, Rock's up. Oh my God, she's up there. Sadly, got barely notices. Oh, cross body, and some of our guys have gotten taken out as well. She didn't just take out Sadiga, she took out a good portion of people here as well. Oh my God. Hopefully we don't have any lawsuits pending, ladies and gentlemen. Well, if they don't, they sure do now. Yep. They just took out some of our fans. They took out Stackhouse. Not Stackhouse. Sam Stackhouse's night is not done, unfortunately. Man, I thought grueling match here. I think Stackhouse would, you know, He thought he was shower. just going to kick he one back. He was just trying to watch. He's just trying to watch the matches, and this is what he gets. This is what sucks about being in the front row, y'all. That's why we're way back here in the safety. Yeah, thank God. And look at that picking her up on her shoulders like nothing. Like a girl's night out. Well, I always heard that uh, fan, like when I go with friends uh -oh. in the NFL, uh, they would say that the, uh, the game isn't as interactive as it could be. That's uh, not a story here in Loka. Yep, that's a great analogy, talking about sports references. What is that doing? Who knows? All I know is the fans are pretty much in danger as well. Just about every Sonic got match, if you think about it. Every Sonic match is a crime, crime scene afterwards. Call out CSI Miami, ladies and gentlemen, or Chicago PD, and name it. This will be an episode and a half. Oh, no. What kind of destruction is she constructing out there? Uh-oh, I see another chair. What is she doing now? Sadika. She's like a Picasso of violence. Exactly. A cacophony of construction. There's another door and even Hyde is contributing to this. Well, of course, he's just as sick as, sick as both these women are. Exactly. I mean, he, he booked this match. Yep. And even Hunter's helping out. Come on. Hunter's probably helping to save his own life. I agree. Oh, up on the shoulders again. Yo, was there another... Wait, is she going for what I think she might be going for? She's known to get on that apron and dive on their on her opponents through a door. It could be that corkscrew plancha that she's known for. Uh, we don't have the best view. It's on the other side of the ring behind us. Unfortunately, folks, we do not have our monitors present. Wait, oh no, she wants the rest of that uh, light tubes on her. I believe she's laying on a door. Well, she's makeshift going to the table. outside or, or she's going oh to the top God. rope. Is all she going to hit that corkscrew? All I know that Roxy's down below and Sonic is at the top. Not a good view. No. Corkscrew plancha through the door. Is this it? Oh, my oh God. Is this it? I, I Hunter, worked. what's the call? Uh, no, it's not over. How? It's just chaos How? out here. Her whole body weight off that corkscrew dive through a door on the poor Roxy, from what I believe I saw. Our vision, unfortunately, very corrupted. What's the word? Uh, There's a corkscrew splash on the outside through the door. But was Roxy a part of that? Oh, well, yes, she was. She Unbelievable. got splashed and she kicked out, and the match is still going. She got splatted like a bug. As we do have our fans unwillingly blocking our vision here. Oh, what a night here at Loco Wrestling. The good, the bad, and the fake. I can't, I can't see a damn thing that's going on. See, I would love to give you guys insight, unfortunately. But, oh, you guys are witnessing because I heard a chair. I heard a chair. As we need our fans to please sit, because we're trying to see what's going on. But hey, it's not like they're getting paid to do what we do right here at Nick. Yeah, it's not, we're not seeing much. There's a lot of fans over around there. Wait, are they are they outside? No, they're, they're still inside. Oh, I thought I saw them go outside, but our fans blocking our obstruction, sadly. Wait, the, what? What? what the what's hell? going on? What the well, what, what's the call? Jaime's in the ring. What is going on here? Nick, do you know what's going on? I have, I have no idea. Look at the look of concern on Jaime. Well, these fans unfortunately obstructing our vision. I wish we could tell you. 
There's fans on the apron, please get down. For the safety of the fans, please get off the apron. Guys, I wish we could tell you what this is, but unfortunately, we do not know what's going on. 